my mid morning snack after I had water, I've had my tea, then I generally like to have a protein smoothie. And lately, I have been enjoying my pineapple, strawberry, coconut water pro with protein powder. Um, I will show you in the video. I'll go ahead and make it and add it to this video. Once I finish, then I will start to pull together my brunch. So it's not quite breakfast, it's not quite lunch. I kind of eat when I'm hungry. I don't have a set schedule. That's one of the joys of being retired. I, I changed my clothes so I can be more comfortable. I'm washing clothes right now. And later on today, I will be doing my workout. So since I've been retired, I now go to work out five days a week. So I've been enjoying it. I do CrossFit. So I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna start preparing something for me to eat. I do what I want, when I want, how I want. So today I wanted to get some things done. When it's getting cold for the East Coast, it seems like it's getting warmer for us this way. I do a lot of prepping so that I don't have to spend too much time in the kitchen cooking. Hope that made sense. Okay, but anyway. So let me finish this and then I'm going to show you how I make this because I'm going to prepare one for tomorrow. And I make it, you can make it with fresh pineapples, you can make it with pineapple juice. I wouldn't do canned, but if that's all you have, do canned pineapples, frozen pineapples. Um, but yeah, it's really good, refreshing, very nutritious. I love it. So I'm going to show you how to make this. Alrighty, here we go. My smoothie, protein smoothie recipe. Um, I thought this in my head. So I don't know if it's out there in YouTube land, probably. Who knows? There's so much on there. However, um, I wanted something that was flavorful and that would mix well with my protein powder. So I use a plant-based protein powder and you know, any protein powder, whether it's whey protein or plant-based, you know, it's protein powder. It just, it has a different taste to it, but I use the vanilla for this recipe, several options. So first, um, you can start out with fresh coconut water. So if you want to crack open a coconut and drain the water out of it, you can do that or do as I do. And I go get, um, coconut water already um, done for you so that I don't have to work at cracking open coconuts. Then the other op next thing is um, pineapple juice. Now you don't want it from concentrate. You want pineapple juice not from concentrate. So if you see here, it will say pineapple juice not from, not from concentrate. So the other option is to use fresh pineapple, okay? So I'm gonna be using fresh pineapple today, but when I don't have pineapple on hand and I haven't gone to the store, I will use these. I keep this on hand um, for my pineapple. Next, I have some frozen strawberries. Uh, an option is to use maybe blueberries, raspberries, um, if you wanted to make it more of a green smoothie, you could add some spirulina. You can use some maca powder in it as well. So um, I normally do uh, juicing. So I juice my greens. So I, I rarely will use this unless I'm short on time and I want a green juice. Then I will mix this up real quick with some fruit. And there you have it. I have a green juice or a green smoothie that is. Next up is some medjool dates. So I have four left in here. I'm gonna use these up. I have some overly ripe frozen bananas. We'll make about maybe 32, maybe just over 32, maybe 48 um, ounces of juice. These ready on hand so I don't have to stop doing what I'm doing or if I don't feel like it, it's already in the refrigerator ready to go so um i threw in the strawberries because i don't know it gave it a gave it a good flavor i liked it so 
you know, sometimes you want a treat and this is, this is a really good treat. Now, the last option is you can add in um, lemon. So it will help balance some of that sweetness if you choose to. Don't have to, but it is an option. Let's get started. First thing I need to do is core my pineapple. Let's take this off. Now I'm gonna dump this into my Vitamix. Yes, everyone, it's good to have a high speed blender. So a Vitamix or a Blendtec, a Blendtec blender, those two are the best on the market. So the Rolls Royce of blenders, of course, is the Vitamix and I would say the Blendtec is just right up under it. The reason why I say that is because I have both blenders. The Blendtec works very well. It's just that with the small seeds like um, raspberries, blackberries, and, and, and strawberries, those little tiny seeds tend to not get blended up. So it can make a smoothie or whatever you're making very gritty. However, with the Vitamix, that I haven't had that problem. Very powerful blender. The Blendtec is powerful too, but the blades are way different. Um, also, the other thing is on my Blendtec, I have gone through three jars. Vitamix, I haven't had that problem, okay? I have not had the problem of the blade or the mechanism that keeps the blade in the jar from going out. This blender, a regular blender that you can pick up from Target, Walmart, yes, they will blend, but you will not get a very smooth consistency out of your smoothies. And some things that have become very difficult, for instance, dates, okay? Dates um, in a regular house blender, uh, yeah. It, it doesn't blend it well it makes it it leaves it chunky ask me how i know i was <laughs> i was doing a smoothie and i forgot to take out let me get this i forgot to take out the seed out of my date and i threw it in there i didn't i forgot i was like oh oh no no fear Vitamix blended it up smooth. Didn't even know the seed was in there. I don't know if Blendtec would have done that. I don't know. I haven't done that or haven't tried it. And I definitely know that a house blender won't blend this up. But a Vitamix blended up the seed that I forgot to take out of my date. So just so you know. I have my pineapple in there. I'm going to add in my coconut water. my dates my bananas two scoops of protein powder and then my strawberries. I'm gonna add some more liquid. You can see it's only this much liquid. I need a little bit more or this is gonna be really, really thick. So I'm gonna add some pineapple juice. I'm gonna set it to smoothie and here we go. Watch out, it's loud.
I'm gonna give this a taste test, so. So yeah, see, it's pretty full. Oh my gosh. Everyone, this is really good. This is better than my last batch. I will say that much. I'm going to store in my mason jars. This is a 32 ounce mason jar. These are 16 ounce mason jars. So um, I put these, um, I pour the smoothie in these for my daughter and then I put mine in here. So Okay, there you have it, everyone. Um, it's only a little bit left. I'm going to drink it because it's really good. And I will follow up with my meal for the day. For my mid-morning or midday uh, food, I'm going to uh, prepare some hash browns and some steamed vegetables. So for the hash browns, um, I took a couple of my potatoes, I have shredded them up in my shredder. So if you can see, let me show it to you. See? So I have them shredded up. And now I'm going to add some kale to it. And then I will be putting it in the oven. So I'm going to put some seasoning in and add some kale. I'm going to be adding, let me bring you down here. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. Okay, yeah, right there. I'm going to be adding, let me put my potatoes over there, some kale. Add in some seasoning, some garlic powder, some smoked paprika, some turmeric. I found some at the you can find them at like your dollar stores. I found no salt uh, seasoning. An alternative to that, for those who have Trader Joe's, there is 21 Salute seasoning. This right here. This here um, is also a great no salt seasoning. I love this stuff. If you have a Trader Joe, I advise you to go and and get it, try it out in your, your recipe. And then I'm gonna mix this up. I am um, preheating, I am preheating my oven up to 420 degrees. I'm getting ready to line my baking pan with some parchment paper. Then I'm just gonna dump this out and cook it for upwards of 30 minutes. So after 20 minutes, I'll be checking it to see how done, don't wanna overcook my potatoes. And then for my other vegetables, I'm going to put them in the microwave to steam. And that will be it. Only thing I'm going to do is add my no cheese sauce to the top of my vegetables for extra flavor. Okay, there you have it. I'll show you the results when everything is finished. <laughs> All right, everyone, this is the finished product. And that's pretty much it. That's what I'm going to eat. All right, I just finished my workout this evening. So now I'm going to go home and try to think of something to eat. I'm not very hungry right now, so I'm not sure if I'll eat anything or just have a juice. So. Okay, I am now hungry, so I'm going to have something simple and quick, which I'm going to put together some rice 
and some vegetables, leftover vegetables. This is something I can throw together real quick that I already have in my refrigerator. I want something I can put into the microwave real fast and easy. So this here is fast food. This is fast food, just some rice and some vegetables I'm going to throw into the microwave for dinner.